Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. DHEA is a hormone that could potentially have anabolic effects, but its role as an anabolic hormone is still being debated in the literature. DHEA is a precursor hormone that can help produce other hormones, including testosterone and estrogen. While DHEA has been excluded from the list of anabolic steroids in the Controlled Substance Act in the U.S., it is still listed an anabolic agent in the world Anti-doping agency, and it is prohibited from use at all times by athletes by that set institution. So, how did it affect me in the 30 days I took it? I'm gonna give you my honest review on this. So let's dive right in. Let's DHEA is a natural hormone produced by the adrenal glands. As we age, our DHEA levels tend to decrease. DHEA supplements are marketed as a way to boost levels of this hormone in the body. Several studies have suggested potential benefits of the DHEA supplementation. These benefits include enhanced libido, better brain function, including fighting depression, potential improvement in skin hydration and firmness, and in decreased aging spots in older people. Other benefits may include increased muscle strength, weight loss, lower blood pressure, and improved glucose intake for energy. Uh, various metabolic functions and prevention of accumulation of fats, particularly the dangerous visceral fats. That's the inside, the fats that surround the, uh, the organs. In addition, DHEA supplements have been studied for their potential to decrease body fat, improve emotional stability, and assist with reproductive treatments. Some proponents suggest that taking DHEA supplements can boost levels of the hormones estrogen and testosterone and in turn protect against health problems associated with hormone imbalances. It is worth noting that the anabolic effects of DHEA may depend on various factors, including the individual's baseline hormone levels and the dosage and duration of DHEA supplementation. While some studies have reported an increase in muscle mass and strength with DHEA, the evidence is still limited and inconclusive. It is important to note that while DHEA supplements may offer potential benefits, they can also have side effects, including acne, hair loss, and high blood pressure. Additionally, DHEA supplements may interact with certain medications. So it is important to consult with a healthcare provider before taking it. In conclusion, while DHEA is not classified as an anabolic steroid in the U.S., it is still considered an anabolic agent and is prohibited by the World Anti-Doping Agency. The anabolic effect of DHEA is still a topic of debate and more research is needed to fully understand its potential benefits and risks in terms of muscle building and performance enhancement. Please consult a healthcare, a healthcare provider before considering DHEA supplementation. Now next, I would like you to be the judge of, of something. My diet has been the same as well as my workouts and lifestyle. The only thing I changed is that I added 50 milligrams of DHEA to my supplement stacks about a month ago. Please take a look at the before and after videos. One video is dated February 13, 2023. The other is March 14, 2023. My honest review is the HEA, without a doubt, has an anabolic effect on the body. In addition, I have absolutely no side effects. I feel super energized at all times. Sorry to the haters. I don't use steroids, HGH, or TRT, or any other prescription alphabet to get ripped. Everything I use is sold over the counter. The videos on my judge, I don't care what studies say uh, about DHEA doesn't work. DHEA works 100%. 100%. It gets you ripped. Anyway, this is my honest review. Have a wonderful day and see you in my next video. Stay healthy, everyone. Seriously, have a good day.